Oh, this is Badlands, kids. Welcome to Badlands. We are blackguards and we're just uh, showing you around our lovely country right here. So if you want to join us next time, get in the van. Yeah. I did. <laughs> do we have a number for this baby? We do. This is episode 236. He just slapped a number on this baby. 236 yeah. Slappercast weekly podcast with blackguards. We are in an undisclosed location. I don't know if you can see all this, but it's a, it's a, we're downtown Detroit in the, the very violent neighborhood of Detroit. And, uh, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's a, we've, right. we, we've caught them in a lull. Let's yeah. just say that. So we're, we're propping the frame very carefully. Yeah. Like yeah. If yeah, I yeah, turn yeah. it this way, it'd be like, no, no, no. Fires. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, welcome. Welcome everybody. We are, we are, uh, thrilled to have you along on this episode. We're going to have the second uh, the second installment of our sassy cast. Yep. And uh, we're going to have John and Matt on here. I'm going to wrap that up just to recap too. So we've been in the Midwest for the last couple of days. We started in, um, Little Rock, Arkansas. We went to, after that, we went to, um, Heston, Kansas. We sp uh, pl spent last Sunday in, uh, which is two Sunday ago for you. Uh, and the Dubliner in downtown Omaha, and then we did Wednesday, um, which we're heading to tonight, which doesn't mean anything to you, but we're heading to uh, a brand new venue for us called Duffy's in Lincoln. So we're really looking forward to that. And uh, it's been been great so far. I mean, yeah. right? Yeah, it really has. I mean, it's been great. As you can tell, the weather's pretty crappy. It's only a 70 degrees. It's pure sunshine uh, versus in Texas right now. It's yeah. 110 and it's uh, no sign of rain again. Three weeks of uh, uh, three weeks. It's, it's, I think we're on our second month. I mean, yeah. second month of two full months. Yeah, triple digits. Has it rained at day? all? No, no, not a drop. No, no. Yeah, I mean, no. especially not up north where I am. So it's crazy. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah. So and you know, we just we we've a lot of you do know the story, and I won't bore you with the the the, the details, but. Omaha is uh, really, really special to us. We, we even had a June Narnia sighting last week, which we were just ecstatic about. And the lovely Sienna. And uh, Sienna, if you're watching, I hope you are watching, not not watching. I hope you're all better. <laughs> and uh, you're still still as beautiful as ever. She's just uh, still as radiant as she got. A, she had a bee sting, a uh, wasp sting, and her whole side of her face was, uh, you know, uh, June showed up with a, with a, EpiPen and everything. I mean, it was serious stuff. And they still yeah. came to the show. We're just, we're just yeah, blown was, away. Was, Absolutely. Yeah. You know, but Omaha is a really, really special to us. Just going back. It's, it, it's the Jeff Quinn story. Mm -hmm. And as readers digest, as I can squash that into, it's basically a friend, um, a friend, a, a, a soon to be friend of ours was diagnosed with, uh, ALS and, uh, he, uh, had, they were doing a benefit for him and they called us. We we're in Houston. He's in Omaha and we, we got to come up here and do a benefit and we got to know Jeff, the late great Jeff Quinn. Um, we got to know him and his family and all his friends. And that's where we met Jay and Jill and June Norton and the, our friends PJ and all the mm -hmm. gang from Witness Tree. And I mean, we just on and on and on. Jamie and Aaron and it just, uh, uh, Luke and uh, Falk and Peter, yeah. Paul and Mary and. Yeah. Jesus, Mary Chain, and we met, met them all. So, uh, Omaha is really special to us, even though 311's from here, but we let that slide. Uh, is that, is that the one? I, you I, don't like I, 311? Is that the one? Uh, it's probably not 311. Uh, God, now I'm drawing a blank. They have a big band from here, and I went to see them. Uh, the guitar player, uh, their guitar player on, on me had this, had a guitar deal with, uh, with not, not just the two of us. I'm just, it was because uh, we both had uh, DBZ Diamond endorsements. Uh, so I, I got to go see the show in Houston and they came out in a good, good guitar player, but the singer came out in khakis and a shirt. It looked like he just walked out of his temp job office and nothing wrong, nothing wrong with temp jobs or, you know, office work, but he just on stage at, you know, downtown, a big theater and he's got khakis and a thing. I was like, what the, what the fuck's that? So uh, anyway, we got to we got to we got to meet so many people from here. We really, you know, we just just uh, just it, it's so special to us, and we've never lost touch with them. We've never lost touch with any of the gang up here, and uh, just love it. And this is a this is actually spectacular for a, for a Nebraska day. Yesterday was windy. It was beautiful. Still, really, still much better than Texas as far as the weather goes. But 
it's uh, as you can tell, it's just uh, picturesque out here, and we're you know, so we're, we've just been having a ball the last yeah. couple of days. Yeah, yeah, definitely. it's been very man. It's like postcard. Yeah, it looks like a postcard. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. and yeah, uh, and, and Heidi mm-hmm. Heidi Riggs, as you know, is with us, but uh, unfortunately, somebody left the gate open. And uh, she 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 th- heard that there was a carcass across the the hill, so she's uh, tearing into it. So we're really sorry that Heidi's not here, but she'll be back soon. If you can see over that hill yeah. behind me, yeah, there's there's some shit going down. Yeah. I mean, go? uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, she's yeah, she's uh, anyway. You see this little red <laughs> running in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn it. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. She'll be back, but yeah. even when she comes back, we're going to have to spray it on because she gets, uh, you know, she gets shit everywhere. So, anyway, so she'll be back. We're, 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 we're sorry. <laughs> we're, this is, and this is a regular occurrence. If you watch Slappercast, which I hope you do, this is a regular occurrence. We, we usually, uh, we can't put her on it. She's so interesting and she just so, she always takes over. So we just said, look, we'll get a little time for ourselves. So, so we have her uh, locked away with a, like I said, with a, some, some sort of, some sort of carcass on the, on the other side of the hill. And, uh, so, yo, know, and if you listen carefully, kids, you can hear the screams of the, you know, the, the, the next animal to die. So she's, she, she, she waits, she waits a while. She's like a crocodile. She waits to eat and she gorges. But anyway, so. Heidi, we uh, we can't wait to get you. you. You'll see her on the next one for sure. So we're we're very happy about that, and you should be very happy about that. So um, yeah. So just recapping the the last week was just phenomenal. We we had uh, we haven't. Um, uh, which I, I I do especially want to thank Joey from uh, the Sassanax. He uh, ran sound for us um, in 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 Heston, Kansas. Tremendous, yeah. tremendous. Mm-hmm. J- Jay Holland would say best sound man ever because. We are always blown away, and, and please join me on this. I mean, when you get a when you get a sound man, and the first person that comes to mind for us usually is Luba Dvorak from Continental Club in Houston, or Chris Heinrich, or you Joe know Womichuk. Joe Womichuk, or even Michael Coakley in in Weston, yeah, Missouri. Yeah, you know, yeah. it, not just a sound man. The guy walks on water. He can turn water into wine. He can part the Red Sea. That guy's a fucking. Anyway, more about Michael Coakley some other time, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and that dude Rick, was it Rick at that festival we played that one outdoor one we were talking about the other day. Um, yes, was it Rick? Yes, very that good. That was yeah, he, he was, was tremendous. On, he was on it. That's, That's it. Rick from Austin. Austin, yeah, yeah. yeah. That guy was on it. Yeah. Which festival was that? The the Beltane, Beltane. Fe- festival. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. Man, I was like. Yeah, he, and he he also plays in a band. Wasn't he also the electrician? He did the electrics. The, the electrics. Yeah, the, I mean, he, the I was trying to think of the word. Electrics is the stage the, name. The electric at, install. At the electrics. Yeah, yeah. Goes, uh, is that right? Though? Is that yeah, yeah. Make it right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he was at, or was it Jim? Jim. I Jim. think it was Jim. Jim. It was Jim. Definitely <laughs> Sorry, Jim. Sorry, Rick. Because he because I I'm said, the worst. No, but you you remember you remember the great sound guy. But yeah. that, it, it's so far. Obviously, the name didn't really run for him. But no, it was it was Jim because I said my middle name is James. I said remember, shoo. yeah, yeah. No, it's a <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't do that one because that's <laughs> anyway. So uh, long story short, we, we're 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 thrilled when there's a good sound guy, and it makes all the difference because you, the listener, are treated to the best. You know, I mean, it's just when you can get the most out of the band. We were talking about producers as well the other day and sound engineers saying, you know, Rick Rubin's not, uh, he's not, he's usually the first one that comes to mind because we always, Chad and I always used to say, man, what if we got Rick Rubin to record a record, you know? <laughs> and it's not, it's not a pipe dream, it's not out of the, but Rick doesn't play an instrument. He's not a musician, but he's just got that gift. He's, for, yeah, I would like him, I'd like him to a uh, creative writing coach. Before. Yeah. That's, he reminds me, his whole countenance yeah. reminds me so much of the creative writing. The yeah. best creative writing teacher I ever had at George Manor yeah. when I was in high school. He's, he was also kind of early with a beard and stuff and just very soft spoken and just a very, like a, a coach, almost yeah. like a creative coach. Yeah. That's kind of how Rick is, I think. So, yeah. What's your, what, what, what's your first, first record that comes to mind that Rick Rubin, what, what's the one oh, that just that, stands That out? Johnny Cash record? Yeah. There were two of them. Right? American, yeah. Yeah. The ones where hit Tom Petty. Standard. Tom yeah. Petty and Heartbreakers are the backing band. Yes. Was, I mean, come on. Yeah. I mean, yeah, check that one out for sure. Of, of yeah. People. yeah, yeah. Do you have a favorite? Do you have a? I don't know what my favorite one of his would be. Oh no, no, just in general. Do you have a like a? Is there is there somebody that just 
that that's done records of, that you've looked up and just been like that guy. Production style. Yeah. Uh, like who's produced it? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I have to think yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, just, it, it, it's a, uh, one of those random thoughts, but yeah, uh, uh, Rick Rubin is, is what well, he, he did, he did all Slayer's records. So I was just, I said, like, whatever he's doing, do that to records. You know, that's yeah. the, that's the sound I want to hear. Um, you know, of course, you know, Tony Visconti and, Visconti, the, yeah. you know, all these guys that, that just do these just landmark mm-hmm. records. And you have to think to yourself, is it, is it all the band? Or is it the, is it the, is it all the band or is it, you know, is, is it equal parts band and you, cause you gotta know what you're doing. There's a lot of buttons there. And if you don't know what they do, I think it's a formula. Yeah. It's all of it. It's so I like, ingredients yeah. Martin Birch was, is usually the one I go to because he did, he did Iron Maiden, but he also did Deep Purple. He did a bunch. I mean, he's, he's just one of these guys or Chris Sandry's, uh, uh, guy that did a lot of Thin Lizzy and, uh, it was just, one of these monster guys that was the name, you know, that, that, that just made these bands sound better than ever. And you, ha- and you have to wonder if the band would have even played as well, if it was, you know, if it was somebody lesser. He's like a cheat code. Yeah. Numbers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just unlocks it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so there's that. And, uh, we're, 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 we're the, the sound man is as important in a, in a small venue as it is on a massive record, you have to have an idea what you want to sound like and you have to go for that yeah. with, and everybody's got to be in the same. That's why, I mean, I, all to say that when we come across a sound guy that knows, that has a great ear and that takes care of your mix on stage as well as the house, or you, a lot of times in the bigger venues, there's a monitor person just for that. And then they've got the main house, you know, the, 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 the main sound guy. So it's, it's, it's easy to, um, it's just, it, it, it's very easy to, uh, to, to me, it's very easy to turn it up and just to, to hear everything. But then you get, you get a guy like, like Joey was doing. He just melted everybody together. Joey's a, Joey's a, he's an administrator in high school. He is a, a brilliant violinist. He's a guitar player. He's, uh, just, just one of those guys, but, and he's one of, uh, 76 members of Sassanax and, <laughs> yeah, just blew me away. So a big, uh, an extended shout out to him, and then and then also uh, Meg, we, we got to meet the accordion. Player. Yeah, finally we got to finally see. We we be, did not believe that she, we knew she existed. We had met yeah. her, but we had never. Every time we played, she had decided to go and get her nails done. Wasn't she supposed to like sit in with us or something the first time we played at the barn? I remember there was some talk that she might show up, and either open for us or because Sassanacs weren't. Yeah. I think originally they were going to play, but I can't remember why they didn't that first time. I think they weren't all there. I can, I, I would make a bet that John was very drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'm just kidding. He, but I just he, remember hearing he, about he, the accordion player and like it turned out, oh, that something came up. She couldn't make it or something. It's like, oh, come on. Yeah. But How many yeah, times she was, played the barn? Twice. Oh, that was the twice the second time. Yeah. And Josh, the owner, he just he said, let's do that again. I mean, after the first time. So yeah, he was so cool. That that's a great. Fun. If you look up Emma Creek Barn and God, I was just saying we got to put the picture of him helping you with. Oh, your, he's your, my new hairstyle. Your hair my situation. <laughs> did, you, did you get that? You got that? On There's a couple of yeah, pictures. Yeah, it's just because he, I mean, it was so, so it was so humid and my hair was so much longer I couldn't get them like my full hawk to stand up and so he, I'm like, hey man, you got a flat iron? And he's like, yeah, let's go into the house and we went in there and. And we just couldn't get it to stand up. And I'm like, you got a pair of scissors? And he's like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, cut it. He's like, no. He's like, <laughs> and so I just grabbed the front and I went and cut it. And he's like, all right, I'll cut the rest. And like, just, <laughs> you just cut it all the way down. Yeah. And we were, dude, I was crying. I, I just, I, I've told the story four times now, but we both were like, I can't believe it. He goes, I didn't Check think I was going to be doing this today. I was like, me neither. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we got it. We got did you, did, did you trim the rest? Did you do the whole? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did he help you? Yeah. Okay. We good. matched that. So, all right. Yeah. All nice right. Little, 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 yeah. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. All right. Nah, yeah. man. That guy yeah. was so cool. Yeah. No, he, he really is. He says, and, uh, but if you look up Emma Creek, um, Emma Creek barn in Heston, Kansas, if you, if you're getting married, if you having a function, mm-hmm. it's just delightful. And the, 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 there's a little cabin. Uh, just about not even a half a mile from there. That's, yeah. that's a uh, part of it. But usually the wedding party or the, the, gro- the bride and groom stay in there. 
And uh, so I put some cameras up there for uh, for the next one. No, uh, learn something. No, uh, they, they they usually stay in there, and it's it's. Uh, but that's where we stayed, and it was just. I mean, you talk about picturesque, and you talk about middle of nowhere. Oh, you could film the whole movie there. Like, yeah, you wanted to be. Yeah, I mean, you've got the you know the farmland fields. You've got the, all this old gear. You could do a period movie out there. Mm-hmm. He's got all his old like old trucks and yeah tractors and shit. Yeah, so, it's amazing. Yeah. So uh, that I was. Like, I like how too, like you know, sometimes the the weather can. You can see bands where it'll just derail them. Yes. And they didn't even mess around. They were like, they covered everything. We had yeah, a quick little storm, and then it was gone. And we were like, man, they didn't miss a beat. I was yeah. So kudos yeah. for that. Yeah. That can Absolutely. that can yeah. derail a show real fast, <laughs> you know. But yeah, people will they'll just go home. And 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 again, hats off to the to punters too. They still showed up. Mm-hmm. Garden was packed. It was you know. Yeah. You know, yeah, definitely many, 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 many acres. You know, so it's not one pack. But I mean, the, all, everybody brought lawn chairs and blankets and were sitting out there. And it was, you know, very decent turnout. Yeah. And um, yeah, we we were. Uh, it was it was a fundraiser, so everybody was very happy with it, and the food was great, and just just on and on and on. So you know, Hibernia, great, you know, great time. And then we had a great time Saturday with the Sassanacs, and then uh, Sunday uh, Omaha, the Dubliner. And we've played there many times. I've lost count on how many times we've played there, but that was exceptional. That was beyond. Uh, and we have also have to mention, if if you're looking for a dive bar and you like Red Dirt country music and other stuff, but mostly Red Dirt country music, you've got to go see Bucks. It's in Utah, west of Omaha, and we got to meet Buck and his lovely partner uh, Tara. We got to meet them, and boy, did we meet them. Um, how do I put it delicately? <laughs> the guy emptied his wallet, which was not, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was quite full. And he was excruciatingly generous and made sure that everybody else in the bar was as, I mean, just blew us away. Absolutely blew us. He had the best time, and Tara, his partner, she was so thrilled with it. So, Come to find out that uh, Jill, Jay, and Kyle, and Kate, and Frank love Bucks because the food's really good. It's the dive bar, but the food is out of this world. So right. we're just we're blown away. We are now out there. We're following all their 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 social media accounts and all that because they're, they're they're shit hot. They're they're just they know what they're doing. <laughs> it's a it, it's a riot. So they were so generous to us. And they were so good, so welcoming. So. Uh, so Casey and Frank at the Dubliner, thank you. And, and everybody that came out, all our friends that came out, our friends that drove in from O'Neill, Nebraska, which is way up north. They drove in, gave me a t-shirt for my birthday. And they, uh, uh, also I, I'm sure I mentioned, but the Hibernia made a banner, made birthday cake, cookies and all kinds of stuff, sang happy birthday to me. Just thank you. That was pretty, that was pretty awesome especially yeah yeah Yeah. i was like boss i'm gonna cry yeah (laughs) (laughs) that's pretty good yeah i said well stop hitting yourself with the drumsticks (laughs) Uh, but uh yeah come on good 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 time just really good time and then next stop we got a shout out to zach behind the bar yes yeah and zach at the door (laughs) yeah zach at the door that dude is just zach behind the bar man yeah those those are two of the coolest zacks yeah i've ever met yeah yeah they're those, those guys, the whole crew, it's yeah. Fantastic. And what's and what, what what's our what, what's our hostess with the mostess? Uh, I don't remember. Girls Barker. Names. Oh, that's Vance. smart. Vance, Franks. Yeah. What with the bar with the with the with the homes of our waiting on us? We met her in Weston, Missouri. Oh, Nicole. Nicole. Yeah. Nicole. Of course, you, of course Nicole. you remember that name. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She owns Barker. a bar. I've forgotten the name of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so and Nicole out of this world, out of this world, foo, 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 foo. Hurricane Nicole, yeah, never stop, yeah, never stop. So she, uh, yeah, just 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 brilliant all around. And like I said, we we haven't played Duffy's yet. We're going there tonight. We're excited about that. We're going to be a full report on Duffy's in Lincoln. So mm-hmm. are you ready? And then um and then the Montana. We've just been looking north the whole time. You know, we we've as much as we love all this stuff. This is uh it's our second time going back to Montana, and we're we're uh. Just, just, I, I can't wait. We're, we're going to meet, going to meet some, some new friends and we're going to, you know, again, reacquaint with some older ones. So, 
Um, <laughs> the weather's supposed to be great. They're getting a heat wave right now, but it's supposed to break on Thursday or Friday. So we're, uh, we're driving right into paradise and yeah. that's where they make the air, boys and girls. <laughs> so, you know, when, when a man likes a woman and they sp- share a special hug, that's how that's the so air nice. is made up there. Oh, okay. So all everybody in Montana gets that. Get I was going to ask for a tour of the air factory, but now I don't. No, you don't need to. You don't need to. Okay. It's just everybody in Montana does it at the same time. And that's when the. Okay. Yeah. That's why the air is always. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Share a special hug. <laughs> Where do you come up with it's what shot, they do. It's dude. what they do. It's, it's, it's in the book. You, you must have skipped that chapter in yeah. school. You, you still think there's like storks flying through the, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. And the, the, and the, the, the roads have been great. The, the, uh, I will say, I'm going to say this again. Okay. We were driving out of Texas. And as soon as we seem to get way north of Texas, people start using the, the right hand lane to drive in and the left hand mm. lane to pass. It's fucking mind boggling. Why yeah. can't we all do that? I don't know. It's shocking. The truck drivers still wait till you're on their ass, you know, it, overtaking them. And then they decide to just come out for no reason. Yeah. But, we had that one guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He did it to the car behind us, too. I know. Remember? Yeah, I know. Oh, that's right. You're like, look, he's doing it again. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. So luckily, luckily, yeah, luckily I wasn't that stoned at that moment. You know, so I was able to, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, we've, it really has it's been, the road's been great and the, the, the mood, you know, the, the places have been great, you know, so the energy's up. And, um, yeah, it, we're just, uh, as, as always, really looking forward to the next show, but not discounting the ones that we're, you know, we're about to do. So, and then we get back to Texas and we're going to do O'Bannon's when we get home. Mm-hmm. And we've got Continental Club in Houston coming up. Yeah. So we've got O'Bannon's College Station and we've got Houston, the Continental Club. And I highly recommend, highly recommend you come see those shows because what happens after tour is we play every day. I would play a few times a day sometimes and we come home and we're really gelling. So this, yeah. th- this is, this time is no different. Yeah. It's uh it's quite exceptional. So you guys do, do, or you don't want to kill a song today. I don't have one ready. You don't have one ready. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just going to, I I know, we, I know we probably haven't done this already, but I, you know, there, we should have made at the beginning, you know, this is all retrospect, of course, blah, blah, blah. But I think we should have put rules in at the beginning like La Cucaracha or uh, Macarena or the the Never Gonna Give You Up, the Rick Astley or the, you know, those songs should have just been, oh, we sh- the they should have just been, a yeah, that low hanging fruit should have just been left, you know, so. Like it understood. Yes. You know, so, we, but again, what's the level? What's the gauge? You know, where do you go? Mm-hmm. You know, so here we are again. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Get, get real close. Shirts off. Well, they have to. Okay. So, Shirts and skins. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start I'm gonna start with the turbo since you're n- most nervous. Oh God. All right. It's the easiest part. This is the easiest part. Just just top. Just, I'm like freaking. Yeah. Right now. Seven. It just shuts down. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't. Not today. All just right. just today. You're handed the keys of the world. Everything 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 turbo says happens. Go. What do you do now? What's the first thing you do now? What's next? Let's see. What do I got? I think I, I think you, I think it's free dental. Free dental? Yeah, I think that's what. Yeah, I thought free that was cleanings be the first for everybody. Yeah, that's a good free one. Free cleanings, free cleanings, dude. Yeah, yeah. Why is that? Why is that? Because the teeth are not important at all, right? Yeah, no. Nah. Because your oral health is so important. Exactly. Why is it so health? Why is it so uh, important? It's directly into your bloodstream. That's <laughs> exactly right. That's it's right. exactly. It's your calling card too. That's right. All right, Chad, go. I think everybody should be required to take a coffee appreciation class. Oh God! Talk by by uh, Mr. Devlin right there. I'll have no. to sign up for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Your first student. Yeah, okay. dude. I don't. We go to these. We go to all these different coffee places, and they're like, "Well, did you like this one? What do you think of this one?" I'm like, "I can't tell the difference between the two. Like, I don't. I don't. How do you get like a coffee palette? Like." You like you don't. I mean, you either like it or you don't like it. But what happens? I like is, it, and then I don't. But I don't. I guess I could taste like the bitterness or something. I'm like, oh, is this. It seems a little different. Yeah, but I don't like well, put anything in it. Well, there's notes. It's like wine. Like I don't really understand wine like, the way a lot of other people do. Like, oh, there's well, you drink yours in, from a box. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're not expecting much out of you. But that. there are notes in coffee, you know, especially the espressos. Well, all, all different kinds. There's all these different kinds of roasts. Like there'll be. Um, 
I don't know what to call it. I don't know if you, maybe you know more about the different kinds of espresso, but sometimes we get really good espresso and it has almost sort of a floral kind of bouquet. I don't know yeah. what you call it. Like a little fruity kind of flavor. Yeah. And it's not because they put fruit in it. It's just the way that the those beans are, are roasted. Where, right? where are they from? How they're roasted? The Whether they're dark, medium, or light roast? And, you know, I mean, and then you, oh, you know, I want to know that, but yeah. I can't tell the difference. Because once you get acclimated to those tastes and the tastes aren't there, it's almost like water. And that's why you see Patrick and I going, ah, well, we get a, a, a brew of coffee that just, just, you can't taste it. Yeah, I almost could try to connect the taste now to how you feel about it. You feel <laughs> because I'm like, wait a minute, they didn't like this one? Okay, how does this one taste? Yeah, right. All right, this one is sucks. You know, yeah. So like, my, yeah, my suggestion on that would be that you start with black coffee. When we go, because we only drink at, we kind of were spoiled, we only go to boutique coffee shops we don't i mean we're not gonna i i i don't order coffee at waffle house and that we might we, we might need to to uh to uh bleep that because the uh, waffle house we have an endorsement with them they uh they supply our shoes and our our uh so, you know our, our good moods but uh, yeah they're no they're uh you know their coffee is just you can see through it you can see through it in the pot and even if they leave it sit all day, it is better, but it's still, so I would start with just black coffee. Again, you, you do or you don't just have black coffee. But again, a mistake people make is they go, no, I don't like coffee because they've drank, they, they've had been served the, the, the line from Pulp Fiction that freeze dried taste your choice bullshit. You know, that, <laughs> that, I mean, that's, that's just nasty. That's not, that's not even good enough to be called the dregs of a coffee. It's just, it's, yeah. it's awful. But if you get decent coffee and, um, so, to, so, 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 so top of your head on, on this tour, can you remember the best coffee that we've had so far? I can't remember the name of the first place. It's in Fayetteville? Fayetteville? Yeah. Yeah. That was good. That was excellent. I, mean, I can't remember it. If either. I drink the whole thing, I like it. Yeah. If I don't like it, I won't drink. I drink about yeah. half. Yeah. But you see, I would, because of your, your, you see, I don't like soda. I don't like, I do like soda. I, I don't want to drink soda. So I won't touch red. I hate red, red bull. You like red bull. Yeah. So but if I was you, I would start in just a black coffee, black. but make sure it's a good black coffee. You know, if you, if you, you, you know, if you're at Waffle House, you're not going to enjoy it, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I don't do it for the caffeine. What's the kind to get like at home to start? Is there a kind to get at home or yes. you have to get it? You out get, like you get a percolator and you get, you know, and I, 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 you don't even have to grind the beans, but just go to a decent place. If you're close to downtown Houston, Catalina coffee is one of the finest you're going to find. Um, HEB, the grocery stores have great selection of decent. You know, I like Pete's is really good. Yeah, uh, yeah. Pete's, th 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 that's pretty. We used to have that in yeah. Washington when I lived there. And that, yeah, well, that's, that. and that's pretty standard good coffee. That you, you there, there. It's rarely you miss on that. Like um, Stacy, if you put a teaspoon of something in it, who's Stacy? The Moxie. Yeah, yeah. You talk. She'll she'll put a teaspoon of something. If you put like an extra splash, she's like, no, this is this Got has. Over. <laughs> yeah, I'm like. I can't, that's bananas. How you know that? I'm like, did you see him do that? Like, how do you know that? And she's like, nah, I'm like, she drinks for the taste. Yeah. I'm yeah like, she loves it. Yeah. I'm like, you're making this up. Dude. So be nice to her. <laughs> I was just remembering, uh, I'm going to have to bring Starbucks back in the conversation briefly, Ugh. but, uh, but when, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the camera's not working. <laughs> Sorry. Um, cause back, back when you and I were still, you know, regular customers marker and we noticed, well, I'm going to get to the reason why we don't. I know, I know, I know. But they, you know, we, we used to be, that used to be our hang, you know? Yeah. And we used to call it yeah. HQ, but the, the Starbucks by your house. And, uh, Harry Queer. Yeah. <laughs> Harry. Harry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Harry. Um, but I, I was, I was, uh, I, I was an Americana guy and, and I, I got, I got hooked on Americanas because I got sick of having coffee that wasn't fresh. So, that that was kind of my thing for a long time and we were sitting at a starbucks somewhere and one day and you you had gone started you started going into the black eye thing because you were getting frustrated with the pike not being or whatever dark roast not being flavorful enough so black eye again i don't know if we said it already it's, it's brewed coffee with two shots of espresso in there red eye technically is one shot you get different opinions on what to call these things but uh so Patrick had a, had a black eye with him at this, at the Starbucks. And he said, we were talking about the different kinds of coffee we had. And he said, here, here, try this. So I took a sip of the black eye and I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> I had never had that before. So that for a long, for years after that, that's all I would get. 
But the frustrating thing with Starbucks is that you sometimes you'd get it and it would be just excellent. And then the next day or the next water. store you go to, it would be water. Yeah. And then th we'd be on tour and we noticed like it would come in waves. Like we go one tour and every Starbucks we go to would be pretty good. Next tour, all crap. Yeah. Like from state to state, everywhere we went, it was very strange. Um, and it's still today, like I'll, I'll, people will give me Starbucks cards and sometimes I don't have time to brew at home. I'll still go to my local the, that's near my house. And, and occasionally I'll get just Pike, just Pike would not any shots at it. The Pike will be like amazing if they do it right. And I, it's just it's so frustrating. That's why I say everybody should take a coffee, <laughs> take a coffee appreciation class, and especially the people who work in any kind of coffee shop. Just yeah. get it right for the love of God. And I, I don't understand what goes on, what, ex, what accounts for that, but I, I can only think it's got to be training that starts happening across the board i think it's i think it i think it's to do with the climate and the crop because if you get really? yeah i mean if you get a bad bunch of beans from you know from one year or from one area you know if that area has been in a drought or been torrential you know whatever the climate's been messes with that crop you know you could get mm. you know that makes sense. Certain certain amount of time with shit coffee, you know, and, and and man, there's just nothing worth worth. You know, we don't have time for shit coffee. That's that's all there is to it. Yeah. You know, we don't have time for 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 shit sound men and shit shit coffee. So, <laughs> so like in high school, you got like geometry, social studies, coffee, coffee. bean. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. If a textbook, yeah. To, well, you know, we had music appreciation class yeah. and special hug class. Special hug, yeah. yeah. I think coffee should be, coffee is just as important as music. So, All right, you win. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I would say that I would say, mine would be that people have to, everybody has to, I've said this for a thousand years, everybody has to work in the service industry. Yes. Not just, not just, you know, in a clothes shop. You've got to work in a restaurant. You've got to work in a bar. But even now, and the more, the older I get, the more I think everybody has to do a year at least for your, you have to work for your, for your country. You have to do, you have to do a year oh, okay. of civic service. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. literally. Yeah. Yeah. I thought we were still talking about customer service. Yeah. Well, that, <laughs> I mean, again, time. that would turn, I, I, yeah. I tell you, people would be better drivers There's, and people would be nicer. Yes. There'd be less cocksuckers on the planet. We, you, you know, we, we, you know, or did I say that? I meant wankers. I mean, ah, uh, motherfucker. I got that. <laughs> Parker, I think we should also just put ourselves under the gun right now. Let's just kill a couple of songs right now. I'll start. My kill is is very easy because it's been in my head. It's uh, Phil Collins again. The the cover he did, you can't hurry love. Fuck that song originally, and fuck it in his <laughs> version. <laughs> so just, 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 why, why, why? So anyway, it was stuck in my head. Uh, I'll give the the for the for the the people that wrote it. You know, hats off because the melody is uh, it's an earworm. And then for you know, but then for. Anyway, just just boring, boring, boring. Nothing to it. No difference. Stop. So that's my kill. My shine a light on is uh, just because I'm wearing the shirt today. I'm going to go with Skeletons of Society by Slayer. It's off their uh, South of Heaven record, and it's if if you've ever seen a blackguard show, and if you've been unfortunate enough to hear my sound check, it's usually along the line with the guitar going. There's always some form of, you know, uh, Skeletons of Society was one of those songs. If you've heard Metallica's one, or if you've heard, I mean, just this, the, I, I, it started with Iron Maiden for me. It was the gallop. And I love that. To this day, I still love it. And there, there's nothing better than a Les Paul through a Marshall, just that crunchy. Anyway, so Skeletons of Society is one of those songs where, it does it throughout the whole song. There's no, uh, you know, not much of a bridge. The guitar solos are, are you know, you have to, a Slayer is an acquired taste, but it's a, it's a, it's an apocalyptic theme song, but it's, it's one of those songs that comes on and I'm just, it's air guitar, air drums and nonstop. So my, that's my, that's my, that's my kill and my shine today. All right. Mm. You're up. Da -da 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 -da. Um. Well, I, I know you gave me an idea of what to shine a light on. So there's only one Slayer song I know. I know. So I know I'm exactly right. what you. Yeah. Human strain. Yeah. Uh, human strain. Um, Are you a Slayer fan? No. No. 
but I appreciate them. You know, it's just not, it's like you and you and coffee. I don't, I don't yeah. get it, <laughs> but they have one song, whatever album does that, that's all about. Yeah. I'm, 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 I, I, I want to say it's world, it's not world pain and blood, but I, I know I'll, 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 and it's so distinctive from the other things of theirs that I've heard because it's groovy and it's got this. Yeah. I love stuff because it's kind of Sabbathy and in, in that, and that, in that vein. Without Sabbath, there's no Slayer. You know that. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, well, that's Sabbath. There's no metal, right? Uh, I don't know about that. Well, anyway, so that that I I, I need to go listen to that again. But I've, I've you know, we listened to that a bunch of times in the van, and I, I dug it every time I heard it. it was, it's, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's almost like that that break too. That's almost like a Motown thing. Yeah, um, it's a really interesting blending of of, uh, of uh, influences in that particular song, and I, it's. The groove too. That I think is one of the reasons why I like that kind of weird groove like that too, because that's a Talking Heads thing. And the Talking Heads are like that's my. Core. Wait a minute, you like the Talking Heads? I do. Good God! Yeah. Is it the Talking Heads or Talking Heads? It's, it's either. See, technically, it's there's no the, but they have. I don't think they're as militant about the the as, as we are. All right. <laughs> It's talking heads, no doubt, right? Yeah, there's no the in the name, but you do. There's one moment in, in Sonic and Sense where Chris France, after they do, they do the, the Genius of Love interlude with the Tom Tom Club, says, All right, that's it for the Tom Tom Club. I'm going to change back into the talking heads. He says, The I can I, I could just imagine David Byrne going, Can we edit out the <laughs> I don't think he cares, but uh, anyway, yeah. So to kill, I still don't know what to kill. <laughs> All right, we'll come back can to we you. Just kill more. Can we kill some Aerosmith songs? Yeah. <laughs> did, we, did we do Doom's we, Lately? We killed everything, yeah. We, we, we did a blanket, but just take your pick. It's fair Dude game. looks like a lady. I would. I don't think I've ever listened to it all the way through. I think if that song came on, I would just yeah. hit the skip button. I was trying to think of a cover that I didn't like. We already talked about No Doubt's cover of... Uh, yes. It's don't Speak. Life. Don't Speak. No, <laughs> no, I was telling him not to speak. Oh, uh, Bon Jovi, there's a kill. There's oh. a kill. It's my life. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh, fucking yeah. awful. Fucking awful. Is that a pop song? They are as pop as, I mean, as poison. Yeah. Easily. Easily. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing rock and roll about those guys. What was the band last night? Kate said she didn't like Pearl Jam? Or did she like Pearl Jam? Kate doesn't like Pearl Jam. She doesn't like Pearl Jam. But she really doesn't like uh, the Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. Yes. I love her. Yeah. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Kate Holman. She killed Pearl Jam song. Yeah. <laughs> Foo Fighters song? Oh, God, that's easy. I, I, almost any big hit they've had. I like their first couple of albums. Yeah. I don't, don't, like, don't, don't there get, Goes My Hero. I can't stand that song. Yeah. Don't get, don't get Kelly Navarro angry because I think we've killed all those. Yeah. Sorry. They were kind of like a blink video at the beginning where they did like parody videos. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 It's, it was almost the same kind of formula they were yeah. trying to do. So you, you grapple with that. You go ahead. Yeah, well, go on. Kill. Oh, okay. well, I just said, what did I say? You said, uh, you said you wanted some coffee. Yeah. The, the, uh, there goes my hero. Has anybody killed that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm killing it again. All right. I can't think of it. All right. Else. Turbo, you're up. Which one am I killing? I feel like I want to kill a Pearl Jam song, but I like Pearl Jam. <sighs> okay. Well, then do, uh, Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Have you, what, what about, uh, what about, um, uh, crying? Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty. That's, that's pretty. freaking. Those kind of songs, I'm like, it's kind of like when I did that blues traveler around here. I'm just like, yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Crying. Are, around here, that's that's uh, Counting Crows or Crowning Crows. S- no, same thing. Sure. Crowning Crows, Counting Crows. It yeah. doesn't matter. <laughs> See, look at that. I'm just like, look at that. Uh, this is great. We're getting Parody City over you have here. To take a, Paradise City. Parody City. Go for it. You have to take like Kill medication it. before you listen to it. Like, yeah. Antidepressant or something. Yeah. Uh, Paradise City. No. Paradise. Shine a light. Shine a light. Oh. What you got? Pummel. Is there a Pummel song? I brought that CD. Are we going to listen to it? I, 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 I drive. You guys tell me. Oh. Uh, no, nobody's. Can I shine a light on a Pummel song? I, then, yes. Of course. Why not? Kudos to Adam. Song called uh, Letters. Is, is that my, your favorite of all time, Pummel? My, one of my favorite Adam songs singing because Pummel went from kind of a, or a punk rock band. It kind of evolved. Okay, who's so, Pummel? It was a band I played in. Yeah. And so, your brother. And my brother. Yeah, my brother was a guitar player. We were the two members that stayed all the way through it. 
until its its entire lifespan. Are any of those? A, 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 any of that, we were talking about this recently. No, that's on iTunes or anything, right? No, it was yeah. before all you're, that. You're really. thinking maybe of fixing that problem. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. should yeah. put it on there. I was talking to Chad about that. I'm like, man, I should put this on. Yeah. iTunes and yeah. Spotify. It's online, you know, like old like Reverb Nations and different. Well, we'll, we'll edit that, that part out. Put it on iTunes right now. People go see it. So, so, so your favorite song of all time by Pummel is. I'm gonna say letters. Letters. Yeah. Okay. Is that the one you're saying shining a light on? That's what I'm shining a light. All on. right. What? Well, why is it your favorite? I like the melody. I like the lyrics of the song. I think it's a good song. I think it should have been a little faster. I think it could have been. Sounds like a drummer problem to me. Yeah. That's. What's Kurt think about that? I think he was in the middle. Okay. We're... I think I lost that when we were recording it. I think I lost. I was outvoted. Okay. I thought it should have been a little bit faster. But I so, think Adam was having a little difficult time singing it, or he wanted it. It sounded, the vocals were a little better, slower, but I think the music was a little better, faster. Okay. What would Kurt's favorite song be? Just guess. I'm going to guess a song called Come Back Down. Come Back Down? And, yeah. Oh, sorry, okay. So come back, come back Down and letters. Your, yours is Letters. Okay. Yes. All right. I wonder what Adam's would be. I think Adam would say, If I Gather Rain. Okay. That would be his. Could you do a little homework for us and just find out for us? I will. All right. Yeah. Let's do that. I just started talking to Adam again. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a long time since he's in Chicago and yeah. does like a. That's a good place for Adam. He's, yeah. he, he, that's a nice fit for him. Yeah. I think the pizza and Adam kind of go together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boat cruises or <laughs> what? Like... I don't know. I don't know. Windy City. Good kid. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, okay. I think he was a teenager when we did that. Yeah. Yeah. He was, he yeah. was a kid. Yeah, like he was in high school when we did our first tour. Wow. Yeah. To be continued. So we're right at 45 minutes, boys and girls. This is Slappercast, episode 236. 236. And we are delighted you're here with us in sunny Detroit. <laughs> Utah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, Obviously, you, you know, you've tuned back in. You've come this far. Uh, you know, you've tasted the cast. Now watch the movie. Here, here come the here come the Sassanax. Those guys are cool, dude. <laughs> yeah, good boys. Matt and John, take it from here. <laughs> All right, and we we'll see you back in the we'll back. We'll see you next week too. Assuming this is the end of the show, I yeah. don't know. I may cut it around. You never know. You never know. It's good. All right, thanks, y'all. Cheers. Do you have anything recorded or is there plans to record a record or what's the, what's the next move? We're laying tracks as we speak. How's that? <laughs> Sounds so professional. <laughs> yeah. It, it, hopefully soon. Um, yeah. We've, uh, we've worked on a few things here and uh, I've got a basement studio here. And uh, so we've, we've laid a lot down. We're just, we need to get back on it and finish the, uh, the production and lay down a few more tracks and, I'm not going to lie to you. It, it started about March. We got kind of busy there for a while and it's, it's not really let up. So it's been kind of nice. We've been playing about every weekend. Wow. And, yeah. Uh, it's been, it's, and the summer's been nice, you know? So, uh, usually we'll have a lull in the winter a little bit. So I'm sure we're going to get it and finish some of this stuff up. Excellent. And nice. is it, is it going to be a mix of covers and originals or? Yeah, it'll be a mix of covers and, and originals. We, Excellent. Uh, probably some of the covers that we've, did a better job of uh, putting our flavor to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, so Mumford all the, and Sons stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Sunford and Mums. Are you going to do a, are you going to do a, all, all DIY? Is all, is it all you? You guys going to do it all yourself? Uh, the production and everything, or as far yeah. as the, the mix down? And yeah, stuff? yeah. Yeah. We, we've actually been approached by another guy here in town. He's got a studio and he's, uh, that might be where we, end up down there at least for a few songs and see how that comes out that might be a way to fast track this so we need to get we've got to get some stuff out there because that as you know trying to book book some places it's uh you know we uh, we've got some live recordings but we really need to get to uh, get the polished ones out of the studio so yeah and and, and the video clips too are just t tremendous and especially because you guys have a you guys have a really nice you have a great layout you know especially with meg in the front um you just have have a nice layout, you know. It's not one guy in a who far to teach and another guy in a you know in a, in the death metal getup. You know, it's the I, I you know I can't tell you how how much it bugs me, and it never did before. 
But now it bugs me when it's the guy in the flip flops and the cargo shorts and the other guy in the tuxedo and the, you know, the, um, the interpretive dancer, you know, with the, you know, the bear skin, you know, it's just, it's just, come on, put, just put a little thought into it. Uh, you guys have a good look to you. Yeah. You just described the screaming idiots. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, we, we are here. We are as one. <laughs> you. Listen, I'm so, so. you're making us better. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I'm so impressed that you got, you know, the, the sassy cast or sassy cast. I am so impressed with that. I've been thinking about that. I'm going to ask them that today and they're not going to fucking know. And I'm going to, ah, got you. So congratulations, gents. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my invite to get on your, your other podcast, Chad. Just telling you right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to talk about Lord of the Rings? Oh, yeah. You got it. I, I am your man. I'm your Lord <laughs> of the Rings geek. You bet. All right, we'll, we'll figure that out for sure. <laughs> not, not, not I'm put that in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a great idea. Let's go ahead and write that down. Put it on a post at night. We'll put it back here. <laughs> That's the corporate world for you, folks. <laughs> very cool. Well, let's do this again, gents. This is fun. This is very fun. Well, I hope, hope, we, hope you can use some of this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this this, this is no, great. But like, thanks. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's pick it up again. You know, we'll, we'll we'll say hello at the we'll say hello at the benefit, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll you know after uh, after the summer, you know, when things just settle down a little bit, let's do it again. And we'll kind of you know we'll ch- check in this. The, the do you have a, t- a working title for the record? Or are you just going to wait till you till you release it to announce? Boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't think we do have a working title, but we've okay. had a lot of. Discussions there, haven't we? Okay. <laughs> now we need to think about that one. Okay. Well, just you know, if you want anything, you know, you know, uh, 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 anything that will get you in trouble in school, just let me know. I'll I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of where we went a lot of times when we were talking about it. So I know our our, our <laughs> conversations in and around Weston and barley corns and all that—they've all steered in that direction. Yeah. So I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm all. I'm going to have to quit going to Weston because for, for some reason that town gives me headaches. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm. I can see why. Really bad headaches. <laughs> it's I was having a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a lot of fun. And then I saw videos of me <laughs> having fun and I didn't even remember. <laughs> and so hopefully uh, I came out looking like a gentleman, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys sounded freaking awesome. Yeah, it was amazing. And I felt Thanks. like Heidi came like came way out of the shell and she was killing it. Yeah. It yeah, was she amazing. was really she was stepping she was, out of that whole tour. She was filling it on Saturday for sure. That was just amazing. Yeah. I don't I stick my head, you Chad, you probably saw it. I'm surprised I didn't fall into you, but <laughs> stick my head around the corner and look at Turbo and like Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always felt bad because I could never see him back there. Yeah, it was it was so much fun. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I loved having you guys there for that. that well, was... We had, we hit the uh, McCormick on Maine. We're doing those oh, quarter shots and smoking oh. cigars down there, and then over to the the whiskey tasting place. Yeah, uh, uh, Celtic Ranch. I was drinking Celtic pop Ranch, the whole right? time. I would not touch that whiskey. Holy cow. I was by the time we made it to the show time, I felt bad because I did a nice little video of of uh, Delilah. Yeah, and all you can hear is my drunk ass singing. Along. <laughs> <laughs> it's do y'all, do y'all, do either of y'all have a favorite beer at Weston or at O'Malley's? Yeah, of the their, cream ale. The cream ale. The cream ale. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so good. I have dreams about that sometimes. It is good. I, I'm I'm a I'm particular for dropkick uh ale, yeah. which they didn't they didn't have on tap that night, unfortunately. You like I the jalapeno one it. too. It's limited release, right? Yeah, have you had I the jalapeno? Have, I didn't have that one, no. It isn't out all the time. Yeah. That's wow. good. Uh their their jalapeno. I can't remember what the name of it is, and then put some uh margarita with it. You know, half beer, half margarita with that jalapeno. Oh. Wow. Interesting. So something uh, whoever's brewing up there kind of must match our taste buds a little bit because it really isn't a bad beer i mean i really i like every single one of them yeah and they've, they've gotten better i want to say like from, from when we first visited them when we first played there in 2013 
And at some point, I want to say in the like five or six year period there, whoever there was a brewmaster just perfected, like everything yeah. just yeah. went up like, like a hundred points in my, in yeah. my, my, I don't know, maybe, maybe my taste changed, but I, I, I just thought it was good to begin with. And now it's just great. I'm not an IPA guy. Cause I feel like I'm licking a battery every time I take a drink out of one of those. <laughs> it is an acquired taste and some of them are some of them are more intense than others yeah the, the hazy drink, ones are a little bit more pal- palatable for i think used to drink ipas in high school but it was the cheap beer we left in the ditch all week <laughs> <laughs> it got hot and cold it, was, <laughs> and it tasted just like an ipa no, no yeah. he's best or something like that <laughs> Milwaukee's yeah. best ever. It's been hot, hot, cold about twenty-seven times because we had to hide yeah. in a culvert because we weren't <laughs> old enough to drink yet. Yeah, I remember those days. Those are good IPAs. <laughs> wow! If you want our recipe, by the way, we can give you that recipe for how to make an IPA. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, gents, let's uh, let's uh, let's let's wrap it. And we'll uh, touch base again. We'll we'll see we'll see how this thing is shaping up. I'm I'm dying to hear it. I'm dying to hear. It. Hopefully, you're going to do some clips. And now, do you have a website? Sassanax.com. What is it's it? Both. Huh? Sassanax.com. Yeah, yeah. Sassanax.com. We spell it wrong. That's all right. We, we all spell right. it all A's. Unique. We spell it unique. Oh. I'm sorry. We spell it unique. It's a unique, unique. U- URL. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Um, uh, it's yeah. We we stay stay on the website. I mean, as far as shows and and trying to keep photos and then most of uh most of the activities happening on facebook as far as events and just the interaction now it's really been way beyond what we thought we would be able to do you know to ever yeah. think that we would be in the same venue as you guys and actually play at the same you know <laughs> at the same night on the same stage it's you would ask us three years ago we'd say no way we wouldn't even want to do it you know but uh we've we've had a lot of fun and and, and a lot of people just you know when they keep showing up and they keep you know having fun and and it 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 at least boosts your confidence enough to keep doing it and yeah and uh uh, it's it's been beyond our expectations and we're i mean we're humbled truly humbled yeah i mean yeah yeah. And it'll be fun to to get you guys introduced to we we're you know some of these areas where we we played over at Hutchinson at a brewery. Hutchinson's uh, a kind of a smaller town than Wichita, but it's 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 a decent size Kansas town. Yeah, and I'm just amazed at the crowd. They they're they're all into it. Uh, it's just interactive. You ask them to call and response, and they're right there and the end of the show the other night we we just had to keep playing and yeah. they're standing on tables their their arms around each other singing along and and uh you guys we need to get you once they hear you <laughs> <laughs> then they won't like us anymore yeah. <laughs> okay, <somewhere. laughs> that does that doesn't happen yeah, no but keep, people don't come back they'll, they'll they'll come twice they'll come three times and that's it. If you see them more than that, you're doing it right. And it's, you know, obviously I'm, I'm, I'm not telling you, I'm saying in general, that's the, you know, and, 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 and the, the other thing is the other thing that, again, let me compliment you, uh, uh another way. And, and I don't, uh, I, I don't say this often because it just doesn't happen that often, but people, a lot of bands don't like what they do. They, they, they have a niche and they go with that and they just play it. And you guys don't have that you 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 have that no. of the music and everybody that's what i mean by do you have that do, 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 do you get that feeling when you call that song and the band goes yes that's that's when yeah. you know that's, you know now, and then a lot of these guys could go out and make a lot more money or get a lot more shows doing some red dirt country or or playing yes. in a wedding band and everything like that this is definitely what we want to do we're not doing it we like this is and if if we we enjoy it, and then all of a sudden the crowd can enjoy it too, then it's a win win, and we're having a blast. And yeah, that's why I think we feel so blessed. You know. Yeah, yeah, I I, I couldn't agree more. It, it's uh, obviously the song choice and the but the, the attitude too. I, I I was joking with Turbo the other day. I said, you know, I got poking him in the chest. I said, you walk in, you know, like like he doesn't know what what he's what he's doing, you know. And, and Turbo says, as 
you know, as a professional as anybody, but I'm poking them in the chest and I say, you fucking walk in there and you own, like, you own the place. Go! Rah! You know, and he's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Tur- <laughs> Turbo- <laughs> Turbo's got one speed and it's top speed, you know, and it's just, yeah! And he'll laugh. Ah! You know, it's, just, it's, so, it's so funny. He doesn't have, he, he, he can't, he's like myself, he just can't take it down a notch. So everything, when Turbo and I joke, you know, it just everything is just at at, at, at top level, but it, it's it's true though. I mean, if you have the right attitude and you have the the, the you know, obviously you got the right songs. So you know, just go and go and destroy it. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a good crowd up here that uh, that enjoys it and they get into it. And uh, and I've had other bands. Uh, one from Austin used to come through and they'd stay at the house and they'd say, "Where do you want us to play?" You know, and they, they would say you guys just get into it. Whereas we, we play other places and, and like you're kind of saying, they're watching TV or they're, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. so it's just a, it's a, it's a fun, it's a fun crowd up here. It's not, not everywhere, but I mean, there's, I think too, it's just cause we're desperate. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot to do in Kansas. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, you got to get all, all you guys, you know, in a camper and come on down south. We'll uh, we'll do something down here for the folks down here. We we really do. We got to we've been for years weeding out the the good ones and taking them along with us. So it's just been a it's, it's been a riot. And this this genre, if you will, you know, this uh, you know, and it's not just the Irish stuff. It's that it's just that good, you know, that mm-hmm. that rock and roll based you know, fun stuff, you know, that people just don't take themselves too seriously. I think, I think you just, I think it's a winning combination that and good energy and players that don't, you know, don't, don't think this, the sun revolves around them, that kind of shit. So definitely. So very cool. But, but yeah, like I say, thank I you just so keep, much for having us on. Oh man. Pleasure. Pleasure. You guys are, you guys yeah. are fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, we've already taken up so much of your time too. I want to tell Chad today, I guess we'll, we'll just yeah. get him off for a minute, you know, but, Thank you for. No, we, we we got nothing to do. We want to stick around for another couple hours if you don't mind. <laughs> Let's, do we, we can, Let's do it. You want to do another podcast? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's do the, uh, and Matt and I will go play golf, and you guys can talk about your uh, your uh, your whore in the ring. <laughs> yeah. What? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I appreciate it, but I also appreciate all the love that you guys throw out to us. You know, you were you were sending love our way before you even heard the band, and I. I, we didn't deserve it, so I, I really appreciate it. And uh, I just, I'm glad you took the restraining order off of me so I could come and see you guys play again and everything like that. And I'm, yeah. I'm no, seriously, though, you guys have always been so super nice, and uh, it's just been cool to be a part of this. And uh, I really, like I said, it's, it's, I love it. And you guys keep doing what you're doing for sure because it's, we, we need it, and, and it's awesome. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. Well, nice we can't you, do anything else, so that's, and that's, obvious to it in our video editing skin. <laughs> yeah. All right, listen, is it the Sassanax.com or is it just Sassanax.com? Either one. Either one? Good. Sassanax.com. Sassanax. It'll redirect oh. if they do the Yeah. That's you the that's the, the sm- that's the small <laughs> way. So we, we have that and then we can also find them on Grinder. You can also find them on um uh, actually that's probably about it. But uh just uh Make sure that you <laughs> marker. Make sure that you you if if you're within 17 hours of of driving time between your destination and uh, Kansas, then you should be at our show this coming Saturday. We will be opening for the Sassanacs, and it's going to be a joy and a thrill. And uh, no. come on, <laughs> Saturday. I, I fell for that once. I fell for that once. Nope. You'll be opening the gate. <laughs> <laughs> How to confuse a cat. I love it. All right. Thank you, gents. We'll see you all soon. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Cheers. <laughs> are we rolling? We are. You're damn right. We're doing 80 miles an hour in a 20. It's a school zone. It's a corny it's school zone. zone. Yeah. yeah. So uh, welcome everybody. Hey, we're just checking in from the road. This is uh, Young Turbo of the Hill. This is uh, Chad the Impaler behind us. Where are you, Chad? Right here. Can, oh, can right I here. see you? There you see? There he is. I, said, I don't want to disappoint the ladies. There he is. All right. Um, <laughs> we, we, yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> anyway, we're just leaving. Uh, we're just leaving 
U10 uh, Nebraska. We're heading to, uh, we're actually going to stop on the way. We're going to Montana, but we're going to stop on the way. We're going to see a little bit of Badlands, a little bit of Mount Rushmore. We're going to uh, take you with us if you want to come. But we just wanted to stop in to say hello from the road. Had a brilliant night last night in Lincoln, Duffy's Tavern. Yeah. Uh, Mikey, thank you. Uh, all the bands that we played with. And uh, it just, it just, and then Sunday we were at the, there should be some footage up somewhere, but we're at the Dubliner in Omaha, and uh, our 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 heart is in Omaha. We just yes, so so good to see everybody. So uh, as you can tell, farming is alive and well here in the great great Midwest. We're gonna go out and uh, help some of these farmers today with their daughters. Nah, stop it. Uh, so anything else? It's early. It's early. It's very very early. So. Uh, Talk to talk to me. Oh, what do you think? Car running sound, top, yeah. top. Yeah, man. That, in that stage, that room was apparently a legendary rock room there in Lincoln. So there were pictures of Nirvana playing there before they hit it big. Yeah, yeah, two weeks ago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it was great. Yeah, um, and I think it's going to be a good room for for uh, building something there. Moving future, forward, yeah. yeah. So we 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 we. Uh, Mikey loved what he heard, and we, uh, yeah, just just had a ball. So, um, yeah, we, we'll be back. Yeah, we're coming back. I liked it. Yeah, it's a good place. Carl's a man of few words, but yeah, runs good sound. So, yeah, that's what you want. Yeah, <laughs> in a in a don't make a sound guy. <laughs> yeah, shout out to uh, I think his name is Zach, the guitar player at Fate Nefarious. Is it Fate or Feet? I'm not sure if it's Feet, Fate or Fate. You know what? You just you just be you. You go. But he go. and Matt, the guitar player from Groove Lagoon, both hung around for the whole show, and I thought that was really cool. Yeah, so. and they're you know great players, so it's yeah. fun. Um, well, we will definitely be back, but most of all, and uh, you know, it's just just huge thanks to uh, Jill, Kyle, uh, Kate, and uh, Frank. What was the other guy's name? Gerald? Uh, could be Gerald. <laughs> Jay Holen, thank you. I'm so rested. I'm so just refreshed. I'm just uh, hanging by the pool for a couple of days. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. So. Yeah, we got spoiled. Yeah, we are spoiled. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Right. Anyway. Onwards. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll maybe check in again later on today. Show you some of this. Uh, Beautiful countryside, this great country, huh? Yeah. All right, dreams stay with you. Dude, spin around, track the record. Track the round, baby. Look around. All right, shut it down. Where'd you come up with this shit? Satan. Here, one.